facing the South China Sea. <laughs> Our budget for this trip is approximately 14,800 pesos all in all. The ticket that we booked was at 2,400 through Cebu Pacific. That was booked six months in advance. And then we availed a tour package that is 10,200 pesos per head. So that already includes the accommodation for the entire stay here in Palawan. We'll be having three tours in it, two tours in El Nido and one in Puerto Princesa. And inclusive of that also is the van transfer coming from Puerto Princesa going to, to El Nido and then back to Puerto Princesa. And then of course, inclusive also are the breakfast. Since we'll be staying in hotels or hotels. And in the tours also we'll be having buffet lunch. So most likely we are budgeting an additional amount of 2,200 pesos for our food miscellaneous that, that are not covered by the tour package. By the way, their airport is very big. Its rampway is 2,600 hectares. And the worth of the airport is 4.5 billion pesos according to Rappler. Good morning, our second day. Let's look at the, the background. That's the rock formation. And then this is their beach line where you can find a lot of restaurants here. Actually, we had our dinner there last night at C. Jane Resto Bar, wherein your budget is going to be around 300 to 500 pesos. They are offering grilled food. Right now, we are going to have our Tour A in El Nido. That is the small or big lagoon, the Simizu Island, the secret lagoon, and the... I forgot the other one. Shete Comandos. <laughs> the Shete Comandos, something like that. We're just going to our boat right now. That's the beautiful view. Hope it's not going to rain. It's kind of a gloomy a bit, but that's good so that we're not going to get sunburned oh my god you know it's El Nido and you see these rocks from rock formations right there earlier I bought a dry bag in the hotel that we were staying at Casa Cecilia it's pretty much cheaper there compared to those that are being sold outside or nearby here it is only 280 pesos that is um, 15 liters and we've been able to compare that to those that are selling outside they're selling it like at around 350 so it's pretty much um, cheaper right there we are going to have a private tour today and later in lunch is going to be buffet Seven Commandos, it's very clear. You can see the coral, and there are only a few people here. So, we are one of the first few who are here today. It's nice. You can do snorkeling here, you can do the swimming there, only in the areas where there are ropes. Oh, the dog is <laughs> pooping. There a lot of dogs are here. I think there are residences here somewhere there because I'm not sure, but I think there are dogs. Perhaps they are living already here. It's peaceful. You can hear the birds. 
I'll do the snorkeling now. I'm switching to GoPro. Let's see if we can see a lot of corals and fishes here. Already had some good swim and snorkeling and it's getting crowded already. People are already coming over. I think we're going to the next stop. I'll see you there. We are approaching the secret lagoon. It's like the black island in Koron. The rocks are like charcoal. Just look at that. Yeah. Just look at that. The water is clear, a lot of corals are here. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing, it's so beautiful. Just look at that. Oh my god. It's just a wow. It's 10 a.m. in the morning. So nice. Oh my god, I can live here. The rocks are so tall. So black. Oh my god. It's just beautiful. We just got inside the secret lagoon through that hole and we're here. It's been traffic there. <laughs> you have to wait for the people from inside uh, to be able to get outside before a new batch of people to get inside here. Just look at this. We just saw a little of lamb <laughs> floating here inside. <laughs> So I think it's kind of a dirty water. The water is kind of stagnant. Uh, the water becomes stagnant. And if a lot of people are coming in, peeing, pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Going back outside, you have to sleep outside through the hole. <laughs> this is the outside part. So it's more beautiful here outside the secret, the secret lagoon because the water is more clean and it's clear you can see the water inside is like um greenish something oh kuyas just got a jellyfish okay i wanna hold what jellyfish is this oh it's dead oh so this is jellyfish oh yeah so this is dead mm, it's smelly Mm, kind of smelly. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Hi vlog. Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. Say hi to the vlog. To the vlog. Hi. 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 Subscribe to my channel. Channel. To my channel. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Next stop is going to be Simizu Island by Secret Lagoon. This is the Simizu Island. It's getting windy. The current is so strong. The corals are so beautiful underwater. Our kuyas are preparing the lunch. Here's our lunch with a bonggang presentation. Yes. We have fruit. <laughs> we have <laughs> pepino, <laughs> chicken <laughs> burp, <laughs> fish, <laughs> and of course rice. <laughs> We are here in the small lagoon. So the small lagoon is located right there. And we have to ride a kayak 
few will be only in pair. Um, there's a kayak for 200 pesos. Right, so we are now doing the kayak thing. We're going there to the small lagoon. Okay, go row your boat. Row left, left, right, left, right. We're gonna bump. <laughs> Here. And we're gonna bump. <laughs> Ayo sa kapadaw. Don't. Don't. Sa. Don't. Okay, we're struggling to get into the small lagoon. Here, I think we're here. So, oh my god. So, this is the view inside. It's so clear. And there are only a few people who are kayaking. Okay. Okay. So, it's kind of a lumot. Lumot sea. I'm not sure why. Why are there lumots? But this is it. The small lagoon. It's so peaceful. You can hear the snakes there. The rocks are dark black, rather. Just hanging around here near the small lagoon and they're like swimming. We are really blessed with the fine weather because it's never been raining yet. It's been gloomy. I hope tomorrow we're going to also have a fine weather like this. Here in Ipil Beach, this is actually a bonus trip for us because it's still early and I think it's really beautiful. We just have a very short shoreline. The water is so clear and the sand is actually very fine. We'll have a short dip here because we are planning to go to Nakpan later. Uh, especially that this is going to be our last night here in El Nido because tomorrow we'll just have a tour in the whole day but we'll be going straight back to Puerto Princesa and that will take us six hours going there. Just look at the sand. Having some good time here at the shoreline where you can actually just relax. We are here in Nakan Beach, El Nido, where sunset is best. It has a wide shoreline. I think it's nice. The view there is nice. There. With the sun. There. It's really so wide. We took a trike going here from the town in El Nido. I think we'll be paying 600 per tricycle. And it takes about 40 minutes going here. Good morning, welcome to another day here in El Nido. Today we're going to do the Tour C, which has four beaches or four destinations, which are the Helicopter Island, the Matinlo, Mata, Matilanok, Matilanok Beach, the Star Beach, and then the Hidden Beach. The weather is so sunny, unlike yesterday, that it has been a little bit of gloomy. So, right now, um, we are wishing luck to our skin because the sun is really shining rising so harshly i am wearing my sandal that i bought here in el nido i love el nido this is only 360 pesos and i also have the the shorts that i bought here it's very short <laughs> it's 260 pesos so let's go We are here approaching the hidden beach. That is why we cannot see it coming from there. We are going here. We cannot see it unless 
you get near it so it's where you can find it there it's there we need to walk right over there so we need to wear our slipper because there are rocks right now we are going inside this little cave going to the hidden beach oh my goodness oops ouch 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 my 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 slipper literally slipped <laughs> so this is the hidden beach oh my goodness oh my goodness wow it's really wow oh my god this is el nido oh look at that oh my goodness just look at that oh we have a beautiful shoreline and this is the whole area and we are the only ones here right now i can see fishes the sand is not that fine there are small bits of dead corals so it makes it rocky but it's okay this is just heaven there is gonna dock here outside the opening but we need to get in there through swimming and if you can see the water is very deep because it's dark perhaps we're gonna bring our lap jacket those are the people there they really have to swim yeah we're gonna jump We are now here inside the secret beach. We got through that hole going inside. This is the view. This is not anymore secret. There's just a small beach right there. Let's try check out what's under the water. here in our boat from the secret beach and uh, we're heading to our launch area that's the most exciting part of today <laughs> this is where we're going to have our lunch in this area we are surrounded by rocks lunch time we have a lot of food we have fruits shrimps fish pork and some fresh veggies we are here now at Matinlok Island where we can do snorkeling. So this is happening right after our sumptuous lunch. So we're gonna jump in a bit. Whoa! Oh my oh god! My god! There are a lot of fishes. So there are a lot of fishes right there. I don't know if you can see but we're gonna jump right now. So it's time for us to jump. Oh my god! Shall I jump? of the helicopter is there and then that's the tail so we can just have some jumps in here but well, unfortunately the space of my gopro has been empty so i cannot show you anymore what's underwater so i think i'm just gonna show you this one there i think the water gets deep very fast 
because the ground is very slopey. There is a private property situated in here. It's cool. Oh my god, they have this cool stone. Oh, it's so nice. This is the view if you are looking at neighboring islands from the helicopter island. It's so nice. They also have snorkeling areas right there. Here in Palawan, they actually support their ordinance wherein tourists are not allowed to bring anything plastic during the trip because they would like to prevent any pollution to happen in any of the islands. So we are only allowed to use um, paper cups or anything biodegradable and that's good to know. Today is actually not the highest peak of the year because according to our tour guide, the months with high peaks are only from October going to March. So if we could notice, there are only a few people right here. So this is going to be our last stop. After this, we'll be heading back to the town and we are trying to catch a trip at 4 p.m. going to Puerto Princesa because we'll be staying there. Tomorrow, our tour is going to be it at the underground river and tomorrow is especially going to be our last day in Palawan We had just arrived here in Puerto Princesa and it's already almost 12 o'clock midnight We had a night trip going back here in Puerto Princesa coming from El Nido We started at around 6 p.m. We arrived here super late. Tomorrow is going to be an early activity. We need to wake up and prepare before our 6.30 pick up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to another day in Palawan. Today, we are here at the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park. This is 50 miles north of the city proper of Puerto Princesa. So it took us two hours to get here through van and then a boat transfer. And finally, we are here. And so right now, we are going to have a walk going to the cave. We are so excited. Do not approach the monkeys. This is at the entrance of the cave. It's right there. So this is where we are going to ride this super mini boat, like a kayak, right here. We will not be allowed to touch. We can. We are only allowed to look, and we need to shut our mouth.
So right now we are going back to the wharf where we will be having our lunch. We are here in the restaurant where we have a buffet and we found this tamilok which is unique here in Puerto Princesa. So let's try it. <laughs> okay. Mm. It just tastes like, like um, seashell in the seashore. <laughs> This is 100 pesos. It's not part of the buffet. We are finally back here in the hotel that we are staying in Puerto Princesa. We're done with the, the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park tour. Uh, we finished early. It's still um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is where we are staying. This is at Balay Inato in the Puerto Princesa Town Center. The room is actually big. This is good for two. It's very simple. It's actually old-fashioned. This is actually part of the package and it comes with, with breakfast. We arrived here last night and then we were staying here until tomorrow morning for our flight back to Cebu. So the outside look is like this. Um, the rooms here actually looks like mini houses. They have no second floor so it's um, it's like a villa. We're in the, the rooms are located just right when you get into the whole complex. We just had our dinner earlier at Balinsa Sayao restaurant. Um, the design is actually native type. Their food pricing starts at 120 pesos for a set meal if you are taking a, a solo meal. They also have group meals starting at 1200 so their average pricing is at around 120 to 300 if you are on a budget. As a recap, there had been costs excluded from the tour package that we got. First is the entrance fee of 200 pesos for the small lagoon or big lagoon if you are getting the tour A. We also have to pay the tourism fee in any kind of tour but that will already cover your entire tour or entire stay in El Nido. That is 200 pesos. And then for the snorkeling gear, that's 100 pesos per gear that will also cover the entire tour that you will have and if you are taking the tour a wherein you get to go into any of the lagoons you will be paying 100 pesos if you will be availing the kayak uh, that is minimum of two persons because um, the smallest kayak that they have is good for two persons and that costs uh, 200 pesos so if you are in pair you, you get to pay 100 pesos per head in El Nido, there are also a lot of souvenir shops, especially along Rizal Street. You can find a lot of keychains that cost 5 for 100 pesos. And then there are also ref magnets like 3 for 100. And there are also a lot of sandals, shorts, and even the dry bags that you will be needing. Tips in El Nido, you got to have aqua shoes or beach shoes because there are spots in the tour where it is hard to wear slippers especially if you got to swim first before you get to the shore it's very hard to swim using your slippers but it's even harder to walk if you are near the shoreline where there are a lot of rocks and then you got to have a, a dry bag since most of the tours in El Nido are island tours or beach tours and then if you want to save the 100 pesos that you will be paying for the snorkeling gear you can bring one Overall, our experience here in Palawan has been very amazing. You got to see the unique rock and limestone cliffs formations, the rich marine life, the well-preserved beaches and islands, and also the Puerto Princesa Subterranean, which had been declared as one of the seven wonders of nature. So this ends my El Nido and Puerto Princesa vlog. Hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video. And I'll see you on our next trip. Bye!